All right, here we go. I'm not here today, obviously, so we're going to do a little double homework check on, not Thursday, but tomorrow, since I see you tomorrow. Okay, uh, remember our test is a week from this Friday. All right, today we are finding the area of parallelograms and triangles. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, let's first, oh, yes, like I said, find the area of parallelograms and triangles. Okay, um, well, let's first look at a parallelogram here. And I want you to see something here, okay? A parallelogram is really, wait for it. What kind of shape is that now? You guessed it, hopefully. It's a rectangle. So it's really just a rectangle, but on its side, okay? Because what? Are rectangles parallelograms? Yes, they are. Yes, they are, okay? So really, rectangles and parallelograms are gonna be very similar the way that we find their area. So to find the area of a parallelogram, I do base times height. It's the exact same thing, okay? The height, your height is, remember this little symbol, perpendicular to your base, to the base. So this would be considered the height right there, and this would be considered my base. Also, This could be considered a height, and this would be the base, since both these sides are congruent as well. Okay, it could look like that. All right, um, so if you want to find the area of base times height. Similarly, if you want to find the area of a triangle, all right, if you think about this shape here, okay, let's see if I can bring it up. All right, if I think about a rectangle or a parallelogram, Oh boy, did not mean to do a circle. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. Wow. So I have a, I have a rectangle here. Well, if I wanted to find the area of the rectangle, I would do base times height. If I want to find the area of just this shaded region, right there, well, I would do base times height. And since it splits it in half, I would divide it by two. But what type of shape do we have here? I have a triangle. So to find the area of a triangle, it's base times height over two. Or one half base times height, it's the same thing. Okay, again, just like in a parallelogram, the height is perpendicular to the base. So luckily, well, there's a right triangle. Okay, this is an example here. This would be considered an internal height. Internal because the height's on the inside. Um, here would be an example. This would be an external height. External height. Okay, but I wouldn't include this piece for my base. I would just consider this part here to be the base. The base is only a part of the triangle. Okay, this is, I mean, I could also have a height, a shape that looks like this, or a picture that looks like this, or that's my height, and then that would be considered the base. Okay, all four of these are possibilities. Are there more? Of course, there are more. All right, well, let's maybe try an example, right? All right, it's about that time. Okay, so PQRT is inscribed in a circle with a diameter of 15. Wow, the diameter is 15, so I'm going to connect P to R going through the center. We'll see that goes to the center, right? And this is 15. Okay, so find the area of PQRT. Well, if I know this is a right angle, this is 15 and 12, and I want to find this side, what am I going to have to do? Call this X, maybe. Go ahead and do it. Pause it. Okay, hopefully you pause it x squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared and i believe you should get nine yes x is nine so if i want to find the area of pqxt i would do area equals 12 times nine which is oh, excuse me 108 units squared so if i want to find <coughs> the area of the triangle PQT, 
All right, so my triangle actually goes through here from Q to T. We're going to pretend like that line is straight. Okay, just pretend. All right, well, I know that the area of the rectangle is 108, so I'll just do 108 divided by 2. Since my base times my height would be 12 times 9, divided by 2 would give me 54 units squared. Okay. Let's try this. Uh-oh. We got a... We have to find our height. Remember, our height is perpendicular to our base. All right. Well, if that's my height, this is a, you guessed it, special right triangle, 30, 60, 90. Okay. Remember, across from my 90 degree angle is my 2A side. Well, if 2A equals 6, then A equals 3. So that means this piece down here is 3. So this has to be 3 root 3. Remember, this stuff isn't going away. Okay, this is going to be on your final. We're going to use it a lot in this chapter. This is A root 3, 2A, and A. Okay, if I want to find the area of my parallelogram, area of the parallelogram is base times height. Base is 14. The height is 3 root 3. Remember, all right, when multiplying radicals, you multiply the outside with the outside, the inside with the inside. 14 doesn't have a radical, so I do 14 times this outside 3. And that gives me 42, and the root 3 is just tacked on. Root 3, and this will be units squared. All right, try, try these two, try these two. Find the area of one shape at a time. Pause it and come back. Same thing here, find the area of one shape at a time. Go ahead. Actually, wow, excuse me. Should we do that one? Yeah, let's do that, do that one as well. Okay, do them both. All right, pause it. So I'm going to find the area of the triangle equals 9 times 12 over 2, which is 9 times 2, which is 54. Area of this, my rectangle. Well, I don't know what the base is here, or what my base is here, right? So I have to do the Pythagorean theorem. Um, 9 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. X squared equals 225. X is 15. So this is 15. Okay. So I define the area of the rectangle. I do 6 times 15, which gives me, what, 60? No, 90. Duh. 90. So the total area, area, equals 144 units squared. You can get it. Remember we talked about this yesterday, adding two different shapes together. All right. Um, if I want to find the area here of this shape, well, this is 13, then this has to be 13, right? Well, if I have 9, then this is then left over is 6, so I have 3 and 3. Well, I could find the area of each individual shape, that triangle, the rectangle, and then this triangle. And now you're thinking, won't these just be the same? Yeah, technically, yeah, they definitely will be. All right. Um, so the area should be, go ahead and calculate your area. Um, you should get 24 plus... Uh, 96, 96, 48, 104, 24 plus 104, I think it's 128 units squared. That sounds about right. Check your work on that. Okay. Lastly, find the area of this triangle. Okay, this is an example of an external height here. Okay, unfortunately, I do not know what my external height is. So I have to call that X and do the Pythagorean theorem to solve for X. And I'm getting 4. Okay, so now, very important piece of information here. This piece here is 7. 
That is, that is the base of my triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I do base, which is 7, times the height, which I found was 4, and then divide that by 2 to get 14 units squared. Now I know you're thinking, why isn't it 10? Why isn't the base 10? Because the triangle has a base of 7. This is the base of the triangle. This is not included in our triangle. We use that little 3 to help us find the height of the triangle. Okay? So that 3 is not a part of our actual shape. It's just there to help us out. Alright? Alright. Again, here's your homework. Um, it should be on the board. If not, tell your classmates that there are, there is homework tonight. Okay? If you want to take a picture of the book, that is fine. All right, it's in the top left drawer okay, of my desk if you're in 277. Otherwise, it's up in the front. All right, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you all tomorrow. If you have any questions on today's lesson, you, know, you can come see me in that resource center. Beautiful place um, during fourth period. Or you can come to PLT time tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll see you all tomorrow.